look, it's lunchtime. I'm in my in the house. I'm going to get some lunch. And you know, I'm intense about my habits, and they're very deeply inside of me because I've been persistent about practicing them. And a lot of people tend to think that I never had a problem or I never have any temptation for other stuff. I do, but I look at the choices I have before me, like when it comes to food, and I ask myself, what price am I going to pay? And uh, when I do indulge or have indulged, I don't like the price that I pay. But many of you, because you write me, you correspond with me, you have made a habit out of making the wrong choices when it comes to food and eating habits. And you have gotten to a place where you believe it doesn't matter anymore. And that's what I want to call these mentoring minutes. I want to call it, it does matter. It does matter. It always matters all the time. But you're surrounded by other people who also have convinced themselves that it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you work in a place, you go with a group of people to a regular lunch spot, you all go in. Um, probably in a lot of your casual conversation, most of you talk about how you don't like the way you feel all the time, that as you're getting older, you feel like you don't have the same energy that you used to have when you were younger. You don't like the way you fit in your clothes. Uh, your closer friends, you talk to them about how things have maybe changed in your marriage, your intimacy with your love, your spouse. And, um, you know, it's, it's the summertime right now. And maybe this is the summer where you decided, you know, you're not going to go to the pool anymore because you don't like the way you look in your bathing suit and your joints are starting to hurt more and uh, certain foods affect you differently. Um, it's because you've made that all a habit, a bad habit, and you can turn it around and you can develop good habits, but you're going to have to take small steps and you've got to start now. You have to start now with the choices that you make. And most generally, you are going to have to motivate yourself. That's just the way it is. That's why it's called self-motivation. Unless you've got some companion, you know, or you can afford to have a self-motivator, a a motivation coach beside you 24 hours a day to just keep you jacked up and inspired and energetic about making the right choices. You're going to have to do it yourself. You may not get it from the crowd of people that you hang with, the, the people that you consider your friends. So when you go out for lunch today and you go into the restaurant that you usually go, I mean, I remember back in the day, there was just no way to get any good food, period. I would go long periods of time without any food. If I couldn't get any good food, I would just eat tuna fish out of the can. I survived on about six cans of tuna fish a day. And that is extreme, but I had my goals. And when I talk about my goals or when I pound my chest about how easy it is for me to do that, or I show you a couple cans of tuna, it's not me saying, hey, it should be easy for you. It's not. But these are habits that I've developed over years and years and years. And you can develop like habits. You don't have to get on the tuna fish kick, but you can develop like habits where you eat for health and fitness to stay healthy and happy and energetic um, in your life. So when you're out with your friends today, you can start today. You can start right now. Going to the restaurant, refuse to, I mean, this is resistance. I mentioned resistance in the opening video for One Warrior Nation. This is a form of resistance. You going out with your friends, thinking in your mind that you really like to make a habit out of or be strong enough to make a, a, a good choice instead of a, a health, good healthy choice instead of an unhealthy choice today when you sit down to eat lunch because you know when you make the unhealthy choices you go back to the office an hour after you get back there you gotta have coffee you gotta have coke that's your body telling you that this isn't good fuel for me <laughs> you know if you want me to work efficiently and you want me to have energy and you want me to be on my game you want me to be aware and wide open to what I'm doing in my attention, then you got to feed me good fuel. That's your body saying that. And so when you go there today, instead of like you do every other time, you get to the table and you look around and you see it on everybody else's face, it doesn't matter. Everybody else is saying the same thing. They're all doing the same thing. They don't like who they, they, they don't like the way they look. They don't like the way they feel. They want to change. You're going to have to become the motivator, first for yourself, and then later you can be that for other people. But concentrate on yourself. Close your eyes. Think about the choices. Look at the menu. Choose a salad. Like I was saying, when I was in the business, there wasn't any place to even get food like that. Today, you can get that kind of good, healthy food every place. So there's no excuse anymore. 
Ask the waiter to have the cook, the kitchen to take the croutons and the cheese and the junk stuff off of there. Somebody asked me the other day, what do you consider junk? Well, you can start with this. If, it is, if its ingredients are in a language or the words are such that you can't understand them, you can't pronounce them, you can't read them, that's junk. And if it's got sugar in it, that's junk. Start there. And get the salad and... Uh, some, make sure it's got protein on it, some chicken, some meat of some sort, turkey breast, not salami and bologna and all that stuff, not the crap food, not chicken fried steak, and get some uh, uh, low-fat dressing. I mean, you don't have to go cold turkey right at the beginning, but start making the right choices and start realizing, um, because you're hearing it from me, it does matter. It does matter. It matters to the world. You know, people, we hear all the stories on TV. We hear all the horror stories about everything going on. And people, you know, they think about how can it become a better world? How can I make a contribution to make it a better world? The best way you can make a contribution toward a better world is to be the best that you can be. Be the best that you can be. Concern yourself with that first. Get that straight. 